Hey guys, happy Baby Name Monday, how are you? If you're brand new to my channel, my name is SJ. I've been making baby name lists on YouTube for quite a while now, and this one is an amazing one. It is unique alternatives to popular boy names. I've gone through both the most popular middle names for boys, which, oh my God, they're so traditional, it's so hard to find alternatives. And then I've also done the top 10 names for boys, because last week I said I was gonna do just the alternatives to the middle names. I forgot I was doing the middle names. I did the most popular names. <laughs> and now I've done the middle names as well. So there's so many great names here. So loads and loads of dairy names that you can use either for middle spots or for first names. I've gone really out there, so I hope you really enjoy them. But they are really, really wearable. I always make sure they're names I personally love as well. I'd love you to hit subscribe if you are expecting a baby. Massive congratulations. If you're already a subscriber, don't forget to go and also check out all the other stuff that we've launched. We've got the website up now where you can download your very own baby shower event pack. It is brand new, it's amazing, it's a video and download package um, so you can have me join you on Zoom with all your friends and play some baby name games. And the podcast is still going. We're on episode seven now of Baby Name Envy, the podcast. It has been pretty much in the top 10 of Apple Parenting podcasts since launch. So thank you so much. Appreciate every single listen, every single rating and review. And we're recording again on Saturday. So do make sure if you've got any baby name dilemmas or dramas that you email them to me or pop them below on this video. So boy names. If you like a traditional boy name, it's normally honouring somebody in your family or it's just a name you just really like and you're quite a traditional namer. And those boy names just do not shift much, do they, in the top spots in the UK? So I'm really hoping I'm going to pull you into the wild side, the dark side of naming, where I pick some more alternatives with some of these choices. So I'm going to go quite fast because I've got so many so first of all, I'll do the middle spots popularity list. This is the first time I've actually had the middle spot list. Uh, so it's quite interesting and I'll go 10 to one. So the 10th most popular middle name for boys, drum roll, is the name Michael. So really, really popular for f both first and middle names traditionally. But I feel like we see the popular names from sort of 20 years ago bounce to the middle because that's what family is, that you use the most popular names in the middle sports, don't we, to honour people. But if you do have to honour a Michael and you're not sure about the name, the alternative is Micah. So you'll have seen this name a lot, but I really, really, really do like it, which is strange because um, I would never use Michael, but I would use Micah. And I actually thought this was pronounced Mika. And I said that on a previous video and everyone was like, it's Micah, why have you got that so wrong? But I don't know why I got that so wrong, but it's again a biblical name as well. So a lot of these, as you get up, obviously we're going to hear Noah and things like that. Micah is a really good alternative for all of them. Beautiful Hebrew name, meaning who is like God. So yeah, a little modern twist to Michael. And number nine is Christopher. So again, one that's been around for so, so long. I know so many Chrises <laughs> um, who are Christophers and it's bit of an irreplaceable name. There are nicknames for Christopher, like of course Kit, um, which is coming through a lot now. More people going with the first name Kit, um, which is a baby fox as well. So really nice. We prefer short, sweet names. The younger sort of parents seem to be going shorter and shorter with the names. But I did have some other ones. If you do really like their long middle spot, because I was thinking really Christopher, if you love it, you might, Kit hasn't got exactly the same vibe, even though it's a short form it's quite different so you might want that long name to match 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 a short first name um so you could go with something like abraham so it is coming a little bit back into style again i think it's got that coolness that maybe christopher's a bit throwaway does that mean to say just because we've heard it so much whereas abraham you're a bit like oh wow that's a cool name of course, also biblical, also Abraham Lincoln. So it's kind of quite a historic and good name that everyone can spell, everyone can say, like Christopher. Um, but you could, if you're honouring a Chris, I haven't done the, this many for all of them, but this one I got a bit stuck into. You could go a name which I really do love, which is the name Crispin. So what do you think of Crispin? I know obviously it does remind me a bit of crisps and I am a massive crisp eater, especially during pregnancy. I was just scoffing crisps all the time so I don't know if I could have gone with Crispin because <laughs> it'd be like put some more crisps in for Crispin um but I do really love the name genuinely if you don't get that association I've now just put in 
the nation's heads um, crispin and it means curly haired so I just think it's really nice it's quite wintry I'm sure I had this on a winter name list before just because of that crisp air and the outdoorsiness so it is a really cool name and if you're like oh I want to put Chris in there for my dad but I'm not sure about Christopher crispin is a really lovely one or the last one I did, you could go with Cruz, which is Spanish for cross. Um, so again, a sort of very similar name. It's Easter Monday. Um, so Cruz is another alternative for it. At number eight, most popular middle spot for boys was the name Lee, which is funny because my sister's middle name is Lee and she married a guy called Lee. So we have this name everywhere in our family. Um, and I feel like for changing it up, the ones that pop to my mind are things like Leif. So Leif is a Scandinavian name. It is um, means beloved. So we would think of it as like leaf or nature, but it actually means beloved. And I feel like it's getting more wearable, especially in the middle spot. Like if you imagine having like an Arlo Leif or something like that, it sounds really nice because we're sometimes looking for a one syllable middle name. And not many people are going with Leif. But I think it's really gentle and nice and balances out some of the more traditional first names as well. So Leif is a good alternative, meaning beloved, cuteness, or even Reed. <laughs> I really dragged out that E to show you how I'd linked that to Lee. Reed. So Reed obviously is um, like a reed of grass. So it is a nature name and it's really low down. I always find that surprising because nature is where it's at again with baby names. Um, you know, they're my absolute favorite anyway, but I do think that Reed um, is such an underused name. It works really well if you're liking the sound of Lee. At seven is the name Edward. So they are really hard to find alternatives for. I'd be desperate to know what yours are. I'd love you to do this in the comment section below or find us over on Instagram, Baby Name Envy, where we do lots of interactive um, things to get you involved in these lists. But for Edward, you can go Edwin, which is just an alternative of Edward. But I do really like Edwin as well. I think it's got a little bit of quirkiness to it. If Edward, just if everyone in your family has chosen the middle name Edward or something like that, Edwin is good. Or Everest. So it's a little bit more out there. It's not traditional like Edward, but Everest, meaning to have courage, is a really, really great name as well. And we're seeing it really start to climb up in popularity. It's never going to be an Edward, <laughs> but it is a great alternative to Edward if you want a brave middle spot. So at number six was Robert. And we had this on the podcast recently, somebody, Robert, was being passed down the family. And it is a hard one. It's starting to come back a little bit. There's a big TikToker called Robert, isn't there? You know, obviously, I would know that being um, always on TikTok. But um, a nickname for Robert, the people who don't like Robbie, Bobby, Bertie, and all of those, you can go with Bo. Um, and that's what this mum was doing. I think she was going with Bo for nickname for Robert, which I do really like because there was just so many Roberts that everyone was having to use Robert. <laughs> what a disaster. She'd marry somebody and they would all use the name Robert. Or Rupert, I put, which is again just a very obvious alternative to Robert, but a bit more quirky. But I found this amazing fact out that if you go right back, into um, Old English, the original name for Robert is really cool and it's Hopkins. So it's like a surname as first name, which we're all obsessed with, um, Hopkins. And I think it's really, really nice. Obviously it's an actor's surname, but I think when you hear it, I just think it's really quirky and jovial and upbeat and playful for a little boy, Hopkins, or just Hopkin. Um, so it becomes, yeah, so it meant renowned fame and it was son of Hob and then Hob was became Robert which was a Germanic warrior name so I have delved into history there but Hopkins so if you've got Robert in your family I thought that was the best thing I've come up with in ages I really love it and number five is David my son's middle name is David again it's a family name and I was honoring family with it but I do wish I'd I twisted it up a little bit and I what I like is Davy. So I just think it's got a bit more of that outdoorsy, modern spirit. So if you were Davy, you wouldn't naturally just say Dave. Um, and I do love the name David. It is really nice. So we've got Frederick David, which doesn't sound so great together, but David was just a really important name. It was my granddad's name who I never met, who passed away as I was born. So just he's been kind of a bit linked in that way that I was born just as he passed away and that happens so often but also my cousin David is like a brother to me a really important person in my life and back then he was really really sick so it was also sort of bringing him into the to the name in that way as well but yeah long story short 
I do like Davy as an alternative and if I were thinking of it again I would probably play around with it a little bit. And number four most popular name for boys middle sport is Thomas and I think the best alternative is Travis for that one. Travis? What do you think of Travis? I really like it. I think it's totally underused as a first spot as well. It's an occupational name which is cool to know. It means toll gate keeper. So I think those occupational names we really like, we're always looking for them. And I didn't realise Travis was one, but sounds really great. For William, it's hard, because again, these are pretty irreplaceable, I know, but a name you could do, it sounds quite similar, is Elon, like Elon Musk, but Elon is getting, starting to get used, and it's always on a few of my lists lately, so I quite like it, and I'm hearing it a lot from you guys, and it means oak tree. So quite a trendy one, Elon, and it's a bit like William with a strong L. Um, but another one I wanted to put out here, which I know is nothing like William, I just wanted to make sure I captured it if you're here because you're looking for a middle name, is the name Wild. So we used to be obsessed with Wilder, and lately everyone who's messaging me about middle names is liking, not everyone, lots of you are liking Just Wild by itself with the E on the end. So it's become a really trendy use for first and middle. So I just wanted to pop it there. I know it's not like William, but if you did suddenly think, oh, my granddad was William, actually, it'd be quite cool. Well, I'll use Wilde, and so it'll kind of link him. So obviously Oscar Wilde, very literary, like William Shakespeare. So there's a few little nice things there, but I know it's kind of very different. John was at number two. Actually, you can go with alternatives to John because Evan is an alternative for John, which is really nice. And um, being Evan, what's the musical? Evan's going to be coming back, I think, a little bit. Even Johannes, that's one of my favourites for John. And even Zane is an alternative for John, which I didn't know. So you can really play around with that. And then the number one most popular middle name for boys is James. Um, we always thought about James as a middle sport because it's just such a nice name as well. I really do like it, but it is just really popular. I know lots of James, but again, it's Hamish is James in Scottish. So that's quite cute, just twisting it up a little bit. Ones I really like, I really like Jacoby. At the moment I really like the name Jacoby. I know it probably doesn't sound much like James, but James, Jacob, they're all kind of a family. And then my favorite is Jacoby. I just think it's so cute for a little boy. Um, or Amos, which is very similar to James. Then you've got the Amos with that soft sort of sound of James, which I always have really liked. So what I'll do is as we've been talking middle names for so, so long, I will finish up this video and then do come back on Wednesday when I will carry on through the top 10 boy names in the UK and all my alternative, more daring versions for them. So don't forget to hit the little bell if you're already subscribed so you don't miss that video. If you can't wait for more baby names, you can watch the girl version of this list from last week or do go listen to the podcast. There are seven episodes out right now. Take care, guys. Have a lovely, lovely evening. Easter Monday and I will see you on Wednesday. That'll be a bonus baby name. Bye guys.